Battlefield and Rainbow Six Siege may have some pretty good gameplay variety, some, some alright destruction to them, and, and just some complex and different metas, but can either of those games do this? I don't know how I did it, but this, this random bullshit works. So what exactly is Teardown? Well, Teardown is an action first person shooter puzzle platformer. A pretty big mouthful, but that pretty much is what this game is. Oh, and it also just has some top notch destruction that puts those two games to absolute shame. With each level that you go to, you have a certain number of objectives that you need to get to in a certain time limit. But you can destroy the level all you want before you pick up an item. Because when you pick up an item, a timer starts and you only have one minute to be able to get out of the level before you're captured by the police. And so Teardown is pretty much a heist video game with destruction elements to it. You're going to be stealing paintings, cars, saves, key cards, data information. You steal all kinds of stuff in this game. And that's where the destruction elements come in. To be able to steal all these different items in one minute, you are allowed to destroy the walls, the ceilings, the floors. Everything is destructible in this game. And you're really going to have to utilize that destruction if you don't want to get caught. And Teardown really kind of runs with the heist feeling to the maps that you go through or the menu music. As soon as you boot up the menu, you hear the and you know that it's a heist video game. It just gives the aurora of being that type of game. And like all heist video games and movies, they have different tools and different vehicles to go about stealing the stuff. And Teardown is no different. You have a vast arsenal of different things at your disposal to aid in your less honest doings. There is no better feeling than using all these tools, planning out a path, and then executing it, and then succeeding in it. Yes! The one second left, oh my gosh! The adrenaline rush of succeeding in something that you plan out all on your own is just unrivaled. It is such a good feeling and you just feel so smart even though it may not have been the best path you planned out. And not to mention this game is also just a pleasure to look at. The fire physics are just absolutely impressive. When one item starts on fire it spreads throughout the area and then as the smoke bellows up it realistically reacts to items like it'll hit the ceiling but it just won't go through the ceiling. It'll accumulate up there and flow through the the easiest point of flowage, I guess. The game is just a miracle that it actually just works, honestly. It's impressive all the stuff that they're able to do, and I have a relatively smooth frame rate. It does dip every now and then, but hey, that's to be expected with the game being as impressive as it is. Oh, and did I also forget to mention that this was made by an indie studio? I've noticed with a lot of games, developers like to add some fat to it, add some stuff that's really not needed and just kind of pads out the game. Tuxedo Labs did not do any of that. They have the game, they have a little bit of fat to it because it's always nice having a little bit of fat on your steak. But man, this game is just good as it is. It has nothing that's really not needed. You have all these different tools that actually have uses and aren't useless. You have a home base that changes as you play the game. And the game also just has a vast, healthy, thriving community around it with just a massive amount of creative and different levels. I only had a few really gripes with this game. Like, the game's pretty demanding. Like, you need to lower your settings if you don't have a very powerful PC because it can be very taxing on it. And I wish they could implement some sort of rewind feature because sometimes when you're setting up your heist, it can require some very precise destruction and to have to do it all over again sometimes it can take like five minutes to set some of these things up and that's to where it could get very annoying doing one accidental misclick just messing everything up but more than likely i'm thinking that they wanted to leave it as it is to have it be a risk reward system in any case teardown got me interested in the game and got me playing it because of the destruction that i saw in the trailers but I stayed for the challenging but fair missions that always had me retrying it to get my perfect time. And I always look forward to the next map, the next challenge, or the next thing I'd unlock. The last thing I'll say I thoroughly enjoy about Teardown is that each time I run a map, I slowly get better and cut my time down. And every time I cut my time down, 
even just by a little bit, I feel as if I'm in a summoning salt video, slowly having my story unfold as I get better and faster at the game, and as I think about if I'm really utilizing all my tools to the utmost of their abilities, if I'm looking at the maps in the right way, if I can find a faster route that I can use, that's just the magic of this game. That there are so many tools to use, there are so many ways to go about it. Although Teardown is a lot like the games that I've compared it to, it is not Rainbow Six Siege, it is not Battlefield, and it is not Minecraft. It is not any of those games. But what it is, is Teardown. This has been the Gubs. Bye bye.